Hi, this is STG here, and in this video, I'm just going to explain the difference between a science called astronomy and a pseudoscience called astrology. Why the difference matters in our society? Why is it so important to consider these two topics? Let's talk a little bit about it. Well, we skeptics consider astrology as a pseudoscience because it doesn't validate scientific principles in its uh, discipline. So, um, astrology might look as if it's supported by science, but it's not supported by science. Moreover, uh, the thing that concerns me is that there are many people believing in this illegal science. In India, we have this uh, thing called Vastu, and they um, consider this thing for building what I call houses and stuff, and they still use astrologers for determining the positions of their bedrooms, their some sort of a room, a dining room, etc. And I'm all against these things. Now, so it's not a problem concentrated in India, but it's, a, it's an international problem. Um, the famous astrophysicist Carl, Carl Sagan gave um, an insight on astro astrology. Have you ever noticed how easy it is to find a magazine on astrology? Virtually every newspaper in America has a daily column on astrology. Almost none of them have even a weekly column on astronomy. What is all this astrology business? Fundamentally, it's the contention that which constellations the planets are in at the moment of your birth profoundly influences your future. A few thousand years ago, the idea developed that the motions of the planets determine the fates of kings, dynasties, empires. Astrologers studied the motions of the planets and asked themselves what had happened last time that, say, Venus was rising in the constellation of the goat. Well, astrology is a study uh, between the relationships of between the positions of celestial objects in the sky, or in any case, with human interactions. If the position of a star is in that position, it will affect our lives. That's a study of um, astrology. But in the case of astronomy, it doesn't relate to human life. It just studies the raw data, the raw understanding of what the celestial objects are. For example, if I take Proxima Centauri, a star which is actually near to us, and, if, and I study about it, that's all. I study about the sun, I study about the solar system, I study about um, the, uh, the Kuiper Belge, I study about different kinds of stuff in the celestial sky. And such guys called astronomers use mathematical data, definitions and stuff like that. But in the case of astrology, astrology is just a, a, a type of thinking. They might say it's happening and they use religious understanding, folklore, superstitious thinkings and stuff into this thing. Suppose a person says, if the star is near Mars, then you're gonna die the next day. Can somebody believe in it? No, they can't believe in it. But the astrologers tend to say this thing a lot of times and the person who's actually hearing to, hearing to that thing would believe in it. And that's the wrong uh, way of thinking. That's why we are against um, astrology. Astrology is a pseudoscience, whereas astro astronomy is a science, and it is definitely for the future and can help in stopping a asteroids from, col from colliding the Earth if the technology allows us to uh, develop further, and that's why I'm with what I call astronomy. Here, look at this. Here's two different newspapers published in the same city on the same day. Let's, uh, let's see what they do about astrology. Suppose you are a Libra that is born between September 23rd and October 22nd. According to the astrologer for the New York Post, a uh, compromise will help ease tension. Well, maybe. It's sort of vague. According to the New York Daily News' astrologer, demand more of yourself. Well, also vague, but also pretty different. It's interesting that these predictions are not predictions. They tell you what to do. They don't say what's going to happen. They're consciously designed to be so vague that it could apply to anybody, and they disagree with each other. 